Well, top of the morning to you, laddies. My name is Evil Man Buck. Welcome back to the glorious homeowner series here on UMRV in Iowa. Happy Memorial Day weekend, everybody. We're going to be, uh, right now, it's about a week ahead of schedule because we have to get our stuff out to the campgrounds uh, since we already reserved our spot for the week. You can't find a spot. These places have been basically reserved for months in advance. I already have my spot. I'm taking the camper up about a week beforehand, so I got a lot of traveling to do and a lot of planning to, in essence, do as well. Well, first of all, I would like to take a quick moment of more or less silence, but also if you guys have anybody down in the comments that you would like to uh, give a shout out to, a thank you to, and basically give a little bit of a memorial to, as we do know, Memorial Day weekend is not only about going to the lake and having fun. It's a day of remembering those who have served and fought for us and kept this country great. Home of the free, land of the brave. And we want to make sure that we honor that. So let's have a quick moment of silence. And God bless America. So we got a lot of planning to do, in essence, to get out there as I... Um, Pretty much showed you guys in the community post, we are going to a Memorial Day festival extravaganza up in Middleburg, New York. This is a week-long festival of festivities that we're going to be heading out with. Now, I did not originally have this when we started the homeowner series, but that's also because I was kind of like not paying attention. I did not have my barbecue trailer, nor did I have the rental. So those are both here. We're going to take the camper up, get it set up, get it prepped in our spot. So when we're going to be heading out, we'll just be towing last the barbecue trailer. Now, my buddy um, Greg is coming out. He's going to be helping me transport the Pontiac because I'm also going to a car show up there. We're going to get to this as fast as we can, but we got a lot we got to do. We're going to be taking the TA up to the Memorial Day car show as well as a parade. So the Pontiac's going to be getting some love going down the streets, getting to show off and have a great time. I think we're actually going to try and lead the pack. We might be able to. But then we're also going to have a little bit of fun with some cornhole and uh, shoot off some fireworks on the end of the night. We are bringing the Sea-Doo, but the, the camper's going to bring the Sea-Doo because the Ford's got to bring the smoker trailer. So without further ado, we're gonna, just going to jump pretty much right up to New York. As, like I said, i got to get on the road. i got phone calls to make. i got plans to do and things to be. So we'll see you guys once we're up in New York. As, like I said, we got a lot of driving ahead of us. It's It'll be a fun one. We'll see you there in just a second. So welcome everybody here. We are finally now arriving at our campgrounds, which uh, to the left, that's our boating ramp, and to the right here is our area. Now I kind of got to be a little bit careful here with uh, our park pass permits. Don't want to be hitting the cones. Yep, we're good. They're waving us in. Just don't hit that. Cool. So as I uh, was kind of saying, pretty much with what we're going to be doing at the lake here, we got ourselves a car show we got to head to. Now, Greg, as you guys know, he pretty much helped me bring out the rest of my stuff. He's actually been out here for the last two weeks because he really didn't. Oh, forgot there's a speed bump. Hold on. Those things will really get yourself dangerous if you're not careful. But Greg's already been out here for the last two weeks. He's directly on the left side. You guys can see my Trans Am over there on the left side right now. He uh, was parked out here for the last two weeks getting ready to go, but, I mean, every spot is completely filled up. I mean, the campsite host is actually a horse trailer people this time. Up on the north side, they actually are completely booked as well as there, too. Their campsite host is, I've already gotten to know a lot of the guys out here, but everyone seems to be in town right now doing all the festival events. This is our spot. We kind of got, like, the primo lot for the corner piece, but I actually have to kind of unload as I might say the smoker the other way with the tongue going towards the grass so I'm kind of gonna break a rule here You're not really supposed to drive on the grass but I need to get this in that spot so what we're gonna do is this so I know they say this is the wrong way but don't just don't do what I do but I gotta get this smoker in here and I don't really want the uh, the steps to be going towards the inside so we're just gonna park it up like this kind of drive on the grass a little bit. Let's park that right there. Get that detached. And let's spin back around and park this thing the logical way. Now I have the cornhole, the water cooler, 
my food, bags of ice, the refreshments. I have all that stuff currently in the bed of the truck right now, so we'll unload that here next, so we'll kind of get everything situated. We're probably going to unload the boat here a little bit this afternoon. But let's kind of get our cover open here so we can kind of see all what we got in the bed. So once we pop up here, we have ourselves our two cornhole boards, which, oh, our bags spilled out. Nice. Cool. It must have been when I detached the bed. Not bad. But we have our cornhole boards, which will get set up here a little bit later. I just kind of want to get a couple of these things out. So that way I'm not, like, fighting it later. So these are our two cornhole boards. If you guys don't know what that is, it's basically like you throw the bean bags and you want to try and get the bag on the board. If you get the bag on the board, you get a point. You put the bag, you put the bag through the hole, you get three points. You go up to 21, or however many you want to, until you play it till 3 in the morning, like I did a few years ago out of 4th of July. But that's going to be really fun. We'll get that set up here a little bit later. Uh, we have our charcoal, as well as our drink cooler, which I just have sitting upside down right now. We have our refreshments in there, and then here are our cornhole bags. So the point of it is to, you know, like, get the bag... Not like that. You don't want that. You want it, boom, on the board, like that. And if you get it all the way, and you go really, and you, you're really good at it, you put it through the hole. Really fun. And then there is our ice, as well as our other tote. So if they were in here, I had all the cornhole bags in there, but it just kind of like fell out because I had to detach the bed and fix something. But on a further note, we have our sea dew out here. Like I said, we, we're going to go and get the boat out in probably a couple hours. I'm going to go down to the show here first. We do... Oh, that kind of got a little close. We do have our glorious rental camper already prepped, set up, and we do have it plugged into a... Uh, I believe this is a 30-amp system because I don't have two ACs, correct? Yeah, I only have one air conditioner, so I only need a 30-amp uh, spot for this. So that's pretty nice. We have everything set up. Uh, we do have my little lawn chair here, so we can just, like, you know, take a take a chill break. But we need to get ourselves down to Walmart as they have the car show going on right now, and I gotta get my spot. I'm already, like, pre-registered, but I do need to go and check in. So, Greg might ride down with me later. He might take his Bronco. Who knows? But basically, I'm gonna get my keister down there because they are not gonna wait for anyone. I mean, nothing really could be better than this right now. We got T-tops off, windows down, and we're just cruising. I mean, this is this is what this is all about. This is the American dream right here. Now, if you guys don't recognize this map and you also haven't already, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe down below. As you do know, we are on the road to the 100,000 subscriber mark by the end of this year. If you guys recognize this map, this is the landscaping map that Square and I do all of our series on. So if you want to check out any of the landscaping series, click on the top right-hand corner right now. And like I said, if you'd also like to consider subscribing, there is also a little button up there for you as well. The show is going to be held at the Walmart, which if we're going down this road right now, this is actually the road we take to get to Square Shop. He built it in the middle of that field. But I'm super so stoked and excited for this, as this actually is turning out to be a very, very good episode. I love it. This is all. This is what it's all about. You live, laugh, and you love. And you have fun while doing it. So there is our Walmart. So let's kind of wrap around here. And I think the check-in booth, if I'm correct... Oh, someone didn't tip their bike, right? I think, yes, there's our check-in booth, so... Oh, boy, the lot is already full. So, check in here at registration, and we'll get to our spot. But either way, we're gonna park it up right here. Oh, she's gonna get hit. We're gonna park it right up here in between our boss... Well, not our, but the boss Mustang and the 70 TA, so that's really, really cool. Got a Dodge Monaco right behind us, like Smokey and the Bandit almost. Well, except his was a Pontiac. Now let's get our hood open here. And I had someone help me out in the comments, which to a point in all fairness, it can be whichever you can engine swap it, you can do whatever. I don't know exactly what the engine is for a Copo Camaro because that's what this actually is. But I was told this has an LS in it, not the LT. The older versions like the 96, those have the LTs in 02, 01, or whatever it was. When they went to this styling in the front with the rounder headlamps, they went to an LS. So this is an LS motor, but it's a Copo engine. So do however you wish, but we'll kind of go look around at all of the different classes. We are currently in the uh, like 2000, I think we're in a... 2000 to 2000 and like 15 stock muscle class basically so we're kind of competing we'll kind of see what our competition looks like so i don't think we're going to be competing against the boss mustang that's a little too new 
These guys are definitely out of our range, but I know these two would be competing in the same class. This looks like it's the, um, the two-barrel carb. Kind of like a secretary car almost, just like the wife's car. Not too bad. This is nice. Ooh, that's got a 400 in it. 400 SS Camaro. That's definitely a little bit bigger of an engine. I think uh, this probably would have been a 350 by the looks of it. Yeah, this this would probably be competing with the boss. That's a 2013, 2014, somewhere in that ballpark. Oh, you can't test me with a beautiful car. Please tell me. I know it's a 59 because I can tell by the grill, but... Oh, that's a beautiful car. That is like the pinnacle of dream cars right there. A two-door 59 Impala. It's got a 409 in it, so that's obviously, again, that's not an original engine. Because that that's a basically a racing Chevy motor. Now, this is nice. Original 1969 Mustang Boss 302. It's got all the fancy bells and whistles. It looks like it's original, too. 50,000 miles. He's even got, like, the little plates in the front. 383 Magnum Charger. Nice interior. Oh, no way. You got a first-gen Viper. That is that is pinnacle of early 90s Chrysler plastic right there. But still, for the condition of the car, it actually is held up very, very nicely. That's an expensive Lamborghini. Let's go take a look at the pickup section. I know we got a couple, uh, couple of big boys in here. We got what looks to be a high boy, high boy Ford, except that's got a common swap in it. KC lights, old K10 Chevy. Well, basically a C10, but it's a K10 swap probably because it's got four wheel drive in the front. An old Ranchero, GMT 400. Got an old Jeep. That's really cool. Flatbed, old flatbed Chevy. There's something on there. I kind of forgot to, like, change slash take off all the plates. So they all just say six county buck. <laughs> that's a, that's a bright, nice Raptor, though. That's got a nice lift kit on it. There's the old 72. That's nice. Kind of like a Chop Shop GMC, an old OBS Ford. That's actually really clean. Holy to moly, that's a nice truck. Long bed, tan interior. I wonder if it's got the, uh... It looks like it. Oh, no, it's a Duramax. Oh, straight pipe out the side Duramax. That's That's got a rumble. Yeah, newer GMC. Not too bad. Now, there's something you don't see every day. Got a different set of wheels on it, but it's an, an old M5 wagon. Jeez, you don't see these very much anymore. I like how the hood opens on that thing. It's kind of neat. So it looks like we got some results in. Uh, we did start announcing some of the classes on partially. I think they're moving on to the truck section right now. But best in paint ended up going to the 1970 Camaro here, which not not too surprising. I mean, that is some very, very nice red paint. I mean, look at that. You can see the nice metallic flake in there. That is beautiful. Not, in, not a, literally a bug gut, a scrape, or a rock chip on that thing. I did know that in the 50s class, so sadly the Ford pickup over there didn't win out, but the 59 Impala ended up winning best of the 50s. Best in show ended up going to the 69 Mustang, which I, I don't mind that. That, that car kind of deserved that. It's a very, very nice car. My car actually did place. I won at best in my class for the age of the car, but I also won in uh, more or less best GM. So best General Motors, I mean, I slightly beat out the old 70 Pontiac here. So best in show, I guess, I mean, I'll take best GM class. That's, I do like that. that that's pretty cool. I mean, I really tried to keep this car as nice as I could. I mean, it's got like a couple little chips down here on the bottom. But, I mean, I buff out a lot of all the different scratches and whatnot, so I really try to take care of the car the best I can. But I think what we're going to do for right now is they're going to have a cruise with all of these cars tonight if they're going to come back. So if you can leave and come back at, like, 5 o'clock, I think. But 5 o'clock, they're going to be doing a parade slash cruise around Middleburg. So 
I'm going to go up back to the lake. We're going to get the boat in the water. We're going to set up our cornhole. We're going to have some fun. We're going to get some partying going, and we're going to have a great time. So we'll see you guys back up at the, uh, the campsite. Actually, change of plans. I think what we're going to do is we're going to get the boat in the water first so we can bring it up, dock it up to our port down here, and then we'll come back and set up the cornhole stuff just because of the fact that I... It, that way at least the boat's ready to go, because there's our dock down there. In the middle, they actually have some sand beach volleyball going on over the weekend, too. I know they got a tournament for that. I'm not going to be doing that because I have the car show going on technically right now. They're already like three-quarters of the way through the tournament anyway. So let's get the Ford hooked up. We'll kind of just be careful with all the stuff in the back of the bed that's still there. But actually, I'm going to at least take out like the charcoal and all that stuff. We'll set that over here. Because we will have to get that prepped in our smoker, which we're going to be cooking out tonight as well. We don't, or at least later, maybe tomorrow, we might start smoking like a brisket or something. But let's just kind of set this stuff on the trailer for right now, because I don't really need it. So Greg says he will ride with me, and we're going to take the boat over and get that launched. Now this one's actually kind of nice, because uh, I don't really have to worry about the bumps as nearly as much. And you can kind of, like, still take it slow, but... This one takes it a lot easier than that Pontiac does. It is a jet boat, so it might take a little bit more rocking to get this thing out. Oh, no, we might get it. We might be good. Nice. All right, well, let's dock this thing up over here quick. So Greg will meet us over with the sea -Doo, And I'm going to go park this back up at the campsite. So we'll see you guys here in just a second. Okay, so Greg is now back over here. He's actually grabbing a couple things from his camper that we're going to put in the, in the uh, cooler as well. But uh, while we're at it, we're just going to grab ourselves a cold one. Now, if you guys know me, I was a big Budweiser guy. I don't drink actually in real life, but my choice of what I liked was Budweiser. So we all know what happened to Budweiser, Anheuser-Busch, and Bud Light. I still support Bud because I love the I love the, the color, the 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 branding, the whatever it was. So you can hate me as you wish, but I still choose Bud. Plus now it's cheaper. I can get a lot of these things a lot cheaper. But we also did bring some Corona. So, so we'll grab this glorious box right here. Take one of them bad boys out. Let's enjoy a little drink. So we will leave the cooler back on the boat there. And what we're going to do now is get the cornhole stuff set up because I really want to get to playing some bags. Now, if you guys have not played cornhole before, this game's like... It can be really fun, and it can also be very, very, like, competitive. Now, this is... I, I Whenever I go out with my buddies to the actual lake, I, I try to play cornhole. I try to act like I'm actually pretty good at it, when in reality, I'm basically terrible at it. So we're going to try and take, like, 20 steps here. Just set up our board accordingly. That way, when we throw the bag, it has a chance of like actually hitting the only problem with like how this actually like works for farm sim is that the bags will tend to like fall through the ground if you're not careful sorry about that the tote kind of like bugged out so i had to take the uh, the bags out manually like this but more or the less the problem with the way this works is that farm sim doesn't like things that involve like breaking the system without actually breaking the system so i can pick up and individually throw these cornhole bags but if you don't like have it land on the ground right it will fall through the gr it'll fall through the map like it just falls through the map so you can actually get it to hit the board you can actually get it to do whatever we're going to set the ice just right here for right now because why not who cares we're going to grill the ice. That's exactly what we're going for. Yes. So to a point, yes, the cornhole game works, but in a logical term of things, it's not great. So we're going to try and play a little bit here, see if we can't get our arm warmed up for tonight. Basically, I just grab myself a bag here. And if I do this right, and my angles are good, come on. <laughs> that actually worked fantastically. <laughs> okay, that worked so much better than every other time I have ever played. Okay, try it again. 
Okay, like that. So the bag just fell through the map. But if you can hit it right, and you can hit the board. Okay, that fell through on that one too. Not working. Okay, okay, you get the point now. It's like you want to... Wish sticks. That's six points. That is six points. Now, I think I probably only have one bag underneath here, right? No, we did have two. Okay, so technically I had six points on that. But the goal is to get up to 21 on there. And uh, I just want to practice a little bit more. I have never had that where it actually worked on the first shot. So, or at least that well. That was beautiful. That was like textbook throw. So I got to get the bag up. Oh! You could find the angle for it. It actually looks pretty cool. This is the first I've actually seen it, like, work, but not work. Okay, throw it again through the ground. You gotta, like, actually aim. So maybe if I... Eh. No, that one went over. Okay. So we have six points. Switch sticks. Nice. Okay, do we have it under there? So we got a total of nine points. Now, you're not supposed to throw the other color, the other color's bag, but... That's, that is so cool that that actually works. That is awesome. So I think I'm going to sit here, relax for a little bit, and we're going to go boating for a bit, probably here maybe 12 o'clock. I might get the smoker fired up, and we'll start grilling some hot dogs for tonight. Now, I know this is a massive smoker, but we're kind of doing like a community event that I told you guys I'd bring them out for, and uh, we'll have some fun. So we'll see you guys here in a little bit. We'll be on the boat. So we low-key kind of decided to leave the cooler out on the dock someone i told um the ladies to come get it if they wanted to come get some stuff out of it we're just going to kind of go cruise around the lake here with me and greg i uh, got my buddy andreas out here as well as uh, jaron and wyatt so we're just going to go cruise around the lake here kind of check out the local scenes that's kind of i think that's a really rough rocky area i think they need to kind of fix that that or they need to get some fragmite sprayed out here we're just going to kind of cruise around the lake have a little bit of fun show you guys kind of what it's all about that is actually a pizzeria, and there is the lookout point I was saying. You like you, If you go over there and you look up over the top, you actually can look over the entire town. Really, really cool. But yeah, there is the pizzeria up top in the middle. They kind of got some cabins that you can rent out. That big cabin, that's like a six-person, 12-person cabin. or I think it's a 12-person cabin. But you can rent that out. Oh, someone's got another sea out here. Nice. But they got all of that going on. We're actually going to get on a buddy's pontoon tonight. That's where we'll be watching the fireworks. But they got all the, uh, like, just kind of, like, lookout points. There's the beach volleyball. It's not a huge lake, but it's just kind of enough to have some fun. And then there's, like they said, the tamp uh, tent camping as well as cabin camping. Those are single-person cabins. Could squish a couple in there if you really wanted to, but might be a little tight. And we'll kind of get the barbecue going. So we'll see you guys here in about... I'd say maybe four hours or so, because by that time we'll kind of have a couple of different, couple of different things on the smoker. Since I got to get the fire started, I want to make sure I have all of the, uh, the good stuff. We'll have ourselves some spare ribs, pork chops, some steak, corn, bratwurst, probably some peppers too. So, yeah, we'll catch you guys here in a bit. All right, everybody, welcome back here. We're just enjoying ourselves a nice Corona right now. It's about, I'd say, 4.55. The, the parade for the car show, in essence, starts in about half an hour or so. Check-ins start at 6, but the actual cruise starts at 6.30. So we're going to get ready to get on the road here so we can kind of start working on that. Uh, we did have a very successful um in essence, feast right now. We're still kind of cooking up the rest of our steaks here. So we do really just kind of want to take a couple of those off so we can get a couple of them on for more people. The peppers have been absolutely fantastic. They got so much flavor to them. It went really, really well when I got those bell peppers. Those were, those were good, but uh, I think, I think Jaron said he was going to watch the grill so that way I can kind of get ready to go down to the, uh, the parade on that. They'll come down there and join us as well, probably in the Bronco maybe. So we're just kind of getting everything lined up right now. I know cars are starting to make their way over. I didn't know this. This is Daryl's Camaro. This is Daryl's red Camaro. That is awesome. Daryl's going to be out here riding along with us as well. Uh, I know Greg said he's on his way over, but all those guys are going to be starting to make our way over there. So I'm going to get the, well, I'm going to start getting the conga line figured out over here. We're all just kind of lining up in this parking lot and we're all going to kind of take off. So... We'll catch you guys once we get everyone figured out and the TA starts rolling. So we'll see you guys in a bit. 
by the looks of our conga line, it's not everybody. Everyone didn't come, but a majority of these fine folks did end up showing up for our little shindig here. That is a sick looking truck. But we got a handful of them all, and I believe that Pontiac's our last one. So that is our lineup. We got these guys gonna be cruising through town. It should be a really fun little trip. We might be spaced apart. I might have to kind of tweak around with it for a little bit, but I think our lineup to get around town is gonna be absolutely spectacular. I think we're all gonna have a great time. We're gonna set our cruise at nine mile an hour. Oh, she sounds so good. Let's get on the road. I don't know about you guys, but I've come to just kind of enjoy the simplicities of this. Going by Pop's Diner. We're all having a great time. And as we make our way through town here, one corner at a time, one car at a time, and probably one car in the ditch at a time. Like I said, let's take a moment to remember what we actually have going on here. Memorial Day weekend, it's a day of remembrance. It's a day of gratitude towards those who have been honored brave have served our country but we also got to remember that it's also a weekend of celebration we like to take some time off be with the ones that we love be the ones that we remember and the Pontiac's completely in the ditch back there but this is just fantastic I love this if you guys said if you guys in the beginning if you have anybody that you would like to mention shout out contribute to Feel free to leave them down in the comments down below as we will all be willing to celebrate and have a wonderful time to get myself out of the bushes. This is all going surprisingly a lot better than I thought it would. And with our conga line in our mirror, we all get to keep a nice steady pace. Let's kind of head more towards downtown because I'm kind of the one that's in charge of where we're going, so... I'd say let's open it up a little bit, but we all know that, that also could cause some problems. Now, if there were top 10 moments that I wish I could actually do slash already have and want to cherish those moments again in life, it's stuff like this. This is the kind of stuff that I would absolutely love to do. It's a community-based event. We all have a great time. We're all just out here for the fun. Family tradition. I think we'll try and lead our convoy here out to basically around by the lake. We'll make kind of a pass around through the, uh, the camping area. So that might be fun to try and guide every one of these cars up there. But we'll definitely try. So we'll kind of see you guys up at the lake if we're able to actually make this happen. We're just going to kind of cruise through it. Make it real nice and slow. Go real slow over this segment because I know that the AI is just going to kind of like want to freak out. Give these fine people... A a nice little car show coming through town. Watch out for all the campers. Our route that I'm gonna try and take as long as they can keep up with me is I'm gonna shoot across, go around where the fuel pumps are, come back up and around this loop, and then we'll kind of loop down and back and out. This is honestly, like in my opinion, the best use of the follow me mod in the existence of this game. This is, this is beautiful. No way. That is cool. That is beautiful. Oh, Impala's gonna like shoot over across. This is where like old time me used to just kind of like sit at these shows and I'd watch the cars go through if I, if I ever got to go to one. And, and I'd just be grinning from ear to ear. Stuff like this, this is this is where it's at. I've said it before in this video multiple times and I'll say it again. This is this is like the true meaning of happiness to me right here. I guarantee you someone's gonna hit that. Someone's going to hit that. So we're just gonna get all of these fine people right here basically parked up. We're probably much might leave them right here since there's no one's really gonna be leaving right now. Get all these cars shut off. We'll all hang out, cook out, grill out, whatever it might be, and we'll catch you guys later when we're on the pontoon. We'll be watching some fireworks, so let's uh, let's park it up for a bit tonight. All right, guys. Well, it's been a couple more hours so far. It's roughly about eight o'clock out here. I'm gonna pop open a bud. But I think we should be getting ready to start fireworks here in just a minute. So I'm actually going to work my way up onto the back of the pontoon over here quick. Let me set this down. 
get myself up on the deck here. Wait. Okay, now I can pull this out. Yeah, we're just chilling with a couple buddies right now. We're all out just getting ready to start watching. So, without further ado, let's kind of get to some fireworks, shall we? Well, that is going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you all so much for coming out to check out this Memorial Day special. I'd like to make a big thank you to, in essence, making this video possible. There's a lot that went into it, getting it ready to go, and just getting the production line on it completely figured out. So if you guys have not already, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe down below. Also, be sure to check out the Boomstick Club for all the up-to-date content from me and the gang. You guys already know who is in it. I hope you all have a fabulous, safe, and important Memorial Day weekend as we all want to have some fun. But we also got to remember again what this holiday is for. So thank you all so much for checking this one out. We will see you all in the next one. This is the Rental Man out. Peace.